Please update your Windows 10 to the latest version and regularly check for update as well, because an outdated system may cause performance issues and there is no doubt about it. So let's begin. Step number 1. Power Option Settings In this step, we're gonna show an important thing to boost your system performance using Control Panel Power Option Settings. So let's go to Start and click on this gear icon, and you will see this window settings. Now navigate to System Settings and open Power and Sleep tab, and click on Additional Power Settings which will launch the Control Panel Power Option window. Normally, Windows default choice will be Balanced Power Plan, but I recommend you to choose High Performance Power Plan because it favors performance over the energy usage and will allow your PC hardware the energy that it requires to achieve its maximum performance without compromising energy usage. If you didn't find the High Performance Power Plan up here, make sure you have always check it on the Hidden Additional Plans tab. Now click on Additional Power Plan Settings and you will get here. Now click on Change Advanced Power Settings and you will see the new window. Now go to Hard Disk and change the setting minutes from 20 to 0. Now scroll down and go to Processor Power Management. Now go to Minimum Processor State and set that to 0. Then go to Maximum Processor State and make sure you have set that to 100%. Now click on Apply, then click OK, and you're pretty much ready to close the window, so let's jump to the next one. Step number 2. Windows Settings In this step, we're gonna be disabling every unfounded or rarely using settings or features from Windows Settings. And by doing that, you can retrieve a good amount of system resources free, which will naturally cause better system performance, so pay close attention and follow me. First, you will need to go to the Start menu and click on this gear icon. Or you can also search settings on the start menu as well. As you can see, the Windows settings is just launched and once you are here, first you're gonna need to navigate to the privacy settings. Now disable let apps use advertising ID. Let website provide locally relevant content. Let Windows track app launches. And finally disable show me suggested contents option as well. Now navigate to location tab and I recommend you to disable the location service if you don't use it that often. Now click on change and disable location for this device option as same as we deal with the location service only disable if you don't use it. Now navigate to camera tab and disable everything which uses your camera except Skype or similar apps because some people use it very often and once you have done that navigate to microphone tab and disable every app from using microphone except Skype or voice recorder in case you're using it. Now navigate to contacts tab and disable it for every other option other than email and account if you have a different preference, you can leave those apps enabled. Now navigate to calendar tab and disable let apps access my calendar, then navigate to call history and as same as we deal with the calendar, disable let apps access my call history. Now navigate to email and disable let apps access and send email, then navigate to radios tab and disable let apps control radios. Now navigate to feedback and diagnostics, now choose basic option from here. Then navigate to background apps, now disable everything except alarm, mail, settings and windows defender. Or you can leave any other apps as you prefer if you think it's important for you. And that's all you can disable in the privacy settings. Now let's go to home, then navigate to system settings. And once you are here, go to notification and action tab. Now disable show notification on the lock screen option, show reminder and incoming voice option, hide notification when I'm duplicating my screen option. Now disable notification for all unfunded or rarely using application. I'm disabling everything except mail and Skype. If you have a different preference, you can enable those apps for notification. Now go back again and this time let's navigate to gaming settings. Now go on the game bar and disable the option record game clips, screenshot and broadcast using game bar. Now disable show game bar when I play full screen games option. Now navigate to game DVR tab and from here turn off recording in the background while I'm playing a game option, then turn off record audio when I record a game, and finally disable capture mouse cursor in recordings option. I have disabled this option because game bar is a worse solution for gameplay recording, and I think most of the people don't ever use it. Hope Microsoft will make it better in near future. Now navigate to broadcast tab and disable record audio when I broadcast option, then disable capture mouse cursor in broadcast option, now go to true play tab and make sure you have disabled that as well. It's basically an anti-cheat feature for games if you don't really need it and that's all you can do on the Windows settings. So let's jump to the next step. Step number 3. Tiffrig and Optimize Drives. Only follow this step if you have installed your Windows on an HDD or hard disk. If you are using an SSD or solid state drive, please avoid doing this step. 
So let's begin. Go to start menu and search defragment and optimize drives and you will see it on the result. So click on it and this window will open. Once you are here, select your C drive or system drive which you have installed your Windows 10 OS on. Now click on optimize and that's it. You may wonder I have installed my Windows on an SSD and still I am doing this defragmentation on it. I am only doing this for the sake of the video, I don't recommend you to do this to your SSD. In case you do, it will not cause anything serious to your SSD. A defragmentation will write unnecessary data to your SSD and Windows 10 itself do defrag your SSDs automatically in certain periods, so it's not a big deal if you accidentally done it. If you're using a conventional hard drive, definitely follow this step because your mechanical drives need defragmentation. Because on a regular hard drive, data is stored on different sectors on the platter and mostly the read head had to reach multiple locations on the platter to read a single file. So by doing this optimization, your hard drive data will sort out and place everything where they belong to. So the read head doesn't have to move to different location to read a single file, may result in faster load times and better performance. But on the other hand, a solid state drive doesn't read or write files in a similar manner because it doesn't have any moving parts inside. We can say it's more like a memory card, so it's not necessary to defrag an SSD if you can avoid it. Also make sure you have defrag all your other drives in case you have multiple partitions as well as I recommend you to replace your hard drives with SSDs if you can afford it. Because SSDs had incredible read and write speeds comparing to your conventional hard drives as well as they can load things really faster as well. So I think it's an additional way to gain even more performance. You can upgrade to any kind of PCs which has a space to accommodate the common hard drive. So I think that's pretty much here. So let's jump to the next step. Step number 4. Disable unwanted startup programs. For that all you need to go to the task manager, just right click on the taskbar and choose task manager. Once you are here, go to start tab and you will see these apps which are the ones that will start automatically when your system start. We don't need most of these programs start automatically when our system start because we don't really use them all on a daily basis, as well as they will cause boot time go slower and decrease in system performance. Because once it start up when your system start, it will stay running in the background forever until you shut down your computer manually. So let's go and disable every unwanted program from starting up automatically when your system boot. Simply go ahead and select a program, then click on disable button, which will disable the program from automatic startup while windows boot. It seems we have a bunch of them here, so let's go ahead and disable them one by one. If you have a preference for a particular app, then you can leave that one enabled for startup, as well as I highly recommend to do not disable your antivirus program and windows defender. As well as please note that changes will only affect you once you restarted your system. By doing this process, your windows in boot time will become much faster than ever before, as well as it will increase your Windows 10 performance by not allowing unwanted program to run in background. So let's go to the next step. Step number 5. Delete every unnecessary files. This is a way to free up some hard drive space and reduce some system loads. We can call it a cleaning process if you want, but we are not using any tools to do it. Because most of the third party tools itself cause slower system performance for a variety of reasons. We have to do a couple of things here, so let's start by cleaning the temporary files. Hit Windows key plus R shortcut and you will see this run box. Now type in temp and click on OK. Now we'll open this folder and you will see a huge number of files here. These files are only created for one time use. Programs sometimes store temporary information on the temp folder before a program closes. It usually never uses again by the program so we can get rid of them. Select them all and hit shift key plus delete and it will delete the files forever. Now you have to go to the run box again so hit windows key plus R again and then type percentage temp percentage. Now click on OK and similarly we will see another folder a bunch of unwanted files. Select them all and hit shift key plus delete on your keyboard. Now close the folder. And before we leaving for the next step, I have to share you one more tip. It may be simple but believe me it's very effective when it comes to reduce your system lag. It's none other but your recycle bin. Go to your recycle bin and delete everything you have there. I have to remind you about it even if it's so silly because I noticed there are people who never clear the recycle bins. 
please note whenever you delete the file from your system, by choosing the right click delete option or pressing the delete key on your keyboard, it will not actually deleting forever from your computer, usually it will keep the files in your recycle bin for a certain limit, a Windows 10 default recycle bin limit is somewhere around 100 GBs, and all those space are acquired from your C drive or system drive, the drive which you have installed your Windows 10 OS on. So if you have a lot of things in your recycle bin, it can actually cause a system lag. So make sure you have cleaned your recycle bin, as well as make sure your C drive is now full or near full, always keep it around 40 to 50 percent. Otherwise it will cause system lag, unnecessary performance issues and so on. And I think that's pretty much it, so let's go to the next step. Step number 6. Disk Cleanup Disk Cleanup is a feature that is available natively on every Windows 10 PC uses to clean junk files on your system. So let's get started, go to start menu and search this PC or my computer, now open this PC. And once you are here, right click on the system drive or C drive, then choose properties. Under the general tab, you will find the disk cleanup option, so click on it. Now select download program files, temporary internet files, thumbnails, temporary files and recycle bin. Then click on clean up system files button and it will clean all the junk file and free apps and disk space. I recommend you to do this to all your local disk or partitions. You can use the same step to do the process on any other system partition. So let's jump to the next step. Step number 7. Registry Tweak In this step we're gonna show you how to tweak your registry to speed up your Windows 10 performance. Hit Windows key plus R on your keyboard and it will launch a run box. Now type in regedit R-E-G-E-D-I-T and click on OK and you will see the registry window. First you will need to go to the H key current user, now go to control panel then click on mouse folder. Now double click on the mouse hard time and change its value from 400 to 10 and click on OK. Now go ahead and select the desktop folder and look for an option called menu show delay. Once you have found it, double click on it and change its value from 200 to 10 then click on OK. Now you have to go to H key local machine then software folder, then find Microsoft folder, now find Windows NT folder, then go to current version folder, now scroll down a little bit and go to multimedia folder. And finally go to system profile, now click on system responsiveness. Now change the hexadecimal value to 0 and click OK. Now we need to go to the same system profile folder, then go to task and finally go to game folder. Now you have to open the file GPU priority and make sure you have set the hexadecimal value value to 8, then click on OK. Now open priority file and change its hexadecimal value to 6, then click OK. And that's pretty much it and you can close the registry editor. Now let's go to the next step. Step number 8. Reduce runtime service. It's a great way to achieve even more performance by cutting some of the unwanted service. Let me show you how to do it. First you're gonna need to open the run box by hitting the Windows key plus R shortcut on your keyboard. Now type in msconfig and click on OK. Now we'll open the system configuration window. Once you are here, move over to the service tab and you will see all the services which are always active in the background. Before we are doing anything with the services, I want you to check this box, hide all Microsoft services to make sure we are not messing up anything accidentally. And once you have done that, you can see it selected every services other than Microsoft service. So let's proceed. You can disable them all at once by clicking on the disable all button or you can cross check them and see if there is anything particularly important for you. Don't worry, you can always restore everything back to default order if you have messes up something accidentally. So once you're ready, you can click on the disable all button, now click uplay and it will disable all the unwanted services on your Windows 10 PC. And it might ask you for a restart, in that case, just give it the permission. Step number 9. Reduce visual effects. In this step, we are doing something really crazy to get the maximum performance from your Windows 10 computer. And let me warn you, only follow this step if you need the extreme level of performance that a Windows 10 can ever offer you. And we are achieving this performance boost by reducing the visual effects and your Windows 10 UI graphics may result better performance, but you might find your Windows 10 interface less graphically attractive than before and please note it will not affect your gaming graphics and program graphics quality. If you don't mind then I suggest you to have a try because if you didn't like it you can always set everything back to default by playing the same things in revised order. So let's start. 
First you need to go to the start menu and search this PC. Now right click on it and choose properties and you will get here. Now click on advanced settings hyperlink and you will see this little window. Now on the advanced tab you will find the performance settings. Click it and you will see another window with all these options. So go ahead and uncheck every options other than your preference. I'm going to leave the option smooth edges of screen fonts and show shadows and the mouse pointer untouched. If you have a personal preference like this, I suggest you to leave that option untouched and uncheck all the other options. And once you're done with that, you can click on a play and that's it. So that's how you can speed up your Windows 10 performance. Hope at this point all of you are experiencing a better performing Windows 10 and don't forget to comment your experience so more people can know this video is a legit and effective one. If you like what you just saw, leave a thumbs up and wanna watch more, subscribe to the channel.